Maybe Tulin has had enough of the abuse. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. Cooking machines are so hot right now. Yesterday, it was Ant's cage oven. Today, it's Stygian Zonai roasting machine. This thing can hold up to 20 meat. That's a lot of meat. That's what she said. Activating the steering stick turns on the flame emitter. So you may have seen in the news this week that Nintendo patented a bunch of stuff related to Ultra Hand, but patent documents let a lot of internal information surrounding how things work public. Brian looked through those patent documents and learned something about fans. So single fans will not tip over. However, two fans combined will tip over. Divlogs discovered a new technique for high speed takeoff. He's using acutely angled rockets to provide more thrust than standard rockets. Combined with the railjet design, this thing is fast. Now for today's war crime of the day. At this point, it's time for Cho Crab of the day. They can't keep getting away with this. This is Death by Roomba. While it's not war crime of the day, it's definitely a contender. You serve all purpose. You are worth a thousand percent. You should love yourself now and give yourself a piece of that syrup and give yourself a piece of that oxygen and love yourself. That's all I gotta say. This is Sacred Cry's Dragon Cycle X. Probably one of the best looking bike designs we've seen. The bike has seven steering sticks, although they're mostly used for aesthetic purposes. This one does work as a stabilizer though. Not only does it look good, it's functional. Shock emitters to the rear of the bike help deal damage to enemies when you get close. But more importantly, it drifts. Insert Tokyo Drift meme here. I will not attempt to pronounce this player's name, but the build is genius. It's a rocket plane with a rocket loading wheel. To try and explain, there is a beam emitter here at the back of the plane. Rockets are then connected to a construct head and wheel. That construct head stops the rockets from going off when the vehicle is powered. The rockets are connected to the wheel via puff shroom. When the beam emitter hits the puff shroom, it detaches the rocket, causing it to fire into the chamber. Only once the rocket has expired does the next rocket fall and the process repeats until all are spent.
So the Flintstones is an S tier cartoon which most of you here are probably way too young to remember. Skate and Hippie has built the Flintstones car in TOTK. Technically it should be powered by feet, not small wheels, but we'll let them off. The only problem with wings is that they expire. But don't worry, Poopy has thought ahead. This monofan flyer takes off vertically and stick neutral. It's only three parts in total with a steering stick, fan and a single rail. A lot of daily driver potential here, although it's worth pointing out that the standard hover bike is about 25-50% to 50 faster. Link's just taking his girls out for a ride. I know women, they are impressed. A while back, Alistair Starr showed us a method for removing the stuck-on wheels from a wagon. Now, he's found a practical use for the wagon, introducing Hover Wagon. <laughs> Alistair wanted me to share that he was actually shocked at how light the wagon is. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.